Oh, oh, yes, we are freaking at the freakers' ball. And and I'm just sitting here, I'm thinking, I'm listening to this song, you know. And I listen to this song every week, uh, pretty much every week. Sometimes it's not, but uh, most, almost, uh, almost all weeks are freakers' ball song there. Uh, this song is the most inclusive song of any song possible. Uh, you know, everybody's invited. It don't matter uh, what 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 it is that you like, what color you are, uh, what your orientations are. It don't matter. You're all welcome right here at the Freakers Ball, y'all. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the show. It is a Friday night, June 5th, 2020. This is the Freakers Ball. We're live. Well, I'm live. Moose Girl probably will not be joining us tonight, but... Uh, I left it open for her. I left it open uh, so she could jump on in anytime she wants. But uh, she she's probably not going to be around tonight uh, for the show. Uh, anyway, uh, welcome to all the folks here on RealLibertyMedia.com. In uh, also those here all in the chat that are in the chat right now on RealLibertyMedia.com uh, or on uh, Freenode. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know it is. Uh, you could call it Balls to the Wall if you like, uh, which I have no problem with since I, I, I love that show and I love the song and uh, all that stuff. But uh, uh, either way, it's the same show. <laughs> anyway, also welcome to the folks over there listening in on RealLiberty.org. Uh, if you're a member of RealLiberty.org, you may notice a couple small changes uh, from today. Uh, Mr. Anthony uh, made uh, updated updated the uh, system to the latest version uh, he was having a few little issues there uh, with uh, with some of the theme once he updated from the last version, uh, which is cool. Uh, and I'm glad to see somebody's doing that and keeping up with it. And it's not me. It's not me. <laughs> which is why I'm glad Freedoms Network is no longer a thing. So anyway, welcome to the folks over there on RLO, RebelLiberty.org. And those listening in on the audio stream over there on RLM Radio. Dot XYZ. Yeah. Great site, huh? So simple. <laughs> but welcome to everybody here in the chat on RealLibertyMedia.com. Uh, we got all kinds of great folks in here chatting it up tonight. Well, not that many are chatting it up, but uh, we got we have a bunch of great folks in here. Yeah, we do. We got we got we got the Beatle and the Cowboy Tech and uh, myself and I, I, Moose Girl's probably out there somewhere tuned in, listening in, I don't know. Hi, Moose! Uh, we got Miss Kate. Oh, sad, sad news this week. And, and I, I, my, my heart goes out to you in the most sincere manner possible, Miss Kate, because uh, she lost her dog, her one of her kids, one of her three children, Buddy, uh, this week. And uh, I feel for you. I feel for you. I really do. I've, I've, I've uh, lost a number of dogs Throughout my uh, life, and uh, it's it's so hard. It's I I, I um, yeah. Anyway, we got anti, we got asthma, we got Chelsea. Don't he suck the low, suck the low. Uh, we we got, we got Angela and Trumpy and Java Doctor and Hansel, Hansel, oh, uh, we got Prince and Rob Works, uh, which is bubbler man. Thanks for passing that bubbler around. We can all use it. Yes, indeed. Uh, trust no one and uh, the, the, the bots, bots. Uh, we got Phantom and CC66 there. Um, what's that? Oh, he's on the, he's on the Kiwi, huh? I didn't, and the Woodman was on the Kiwi. We got two Skira and Chloe. Hey, Chloe, how you doing? E-Man and n and Gromit. JJ's. Uh, JJ's was in there chatting a bit today. Uh, that, that was good to see. He's uh, They're, they're, they're uh, being affected by uh, some of the issues going on in the U.S. over there in Scotland, and and he has a few words to say about it, and I agree with Mr. J.J. as well, at least on these issues. Maybe not so much on other issues, like his choice of music. <laughs> we had Kiss and Matt, W.J. 2002, Mr. Snick, the Sock Puppet, and the Holiest of Roger, and a host of bots, too, I didn't mention as I was going on down there through the list. So anyway, hopefully you're all doing well. Yeah, we survived another week. And uh, if you look outside your window, depending on where you are, if you're in the U.S. anyway, uh, I, don't, I can't tell you about other countries and 
what's going on there. But if you look outside your window and you look up towards the sky and it's not cloudy, I said Hansel. <laughs> I mentioned you, Jay Dredd. You want me to call you Jay Dredd? I don't call you Jay Dredd. I call you Hansel, because right, that's your name, Hans Dietrich. Well, I could call you D.B. Cooper. Would that be better? Would that be better? <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> so, all right. Uh, anyway, if you, if you stick your head out your window or walk outside your house or whatever it is to, so that you can look up at the sky and you're in, inside uh, the U U.S. of A., uh, you're going to see a, a big, big old full moon up there. And it's possible you may see some shading going across it. Yeah, I'll tell you about that in a little bit. But, uh, yeah, it's a full moon tonight. Full moon right here on Freakers Ball. Full moon Freakers. We love these. It is the strawberry moon. See, Kate, uh, Chloe already gave it away. It's the strawberry moon. Yes, indeed. And you get these when you get the partial uh, occlusion of of the uh, light bouncing from it because of the shadow of the earth coming back, and it makes it look a little pinkish. So, uh, yeah, beautiful, she says. So, anyway, hopefully you all had a good week uh, since uh, last we spoke. Well, it would have been either Monday if you're listening in on uh, Grim Leftover Show, or last Friday if you're just listening in on, on the Freakers Ball. Uh, so, uh, hopefully you all had a good week. Um, it's been a hot one here, boy. Let me tell you, every day it's been just scorching, scorching. Um, <laughs> uh, Rob Works posted a funny. Uh, <laughs> well, funny to me. Probably not funny to them or a lot of other people, but <laughs> funny to me. <laughs> Rob Works posted a link. Two National Guardsmen, guardsmen struck by lightning during Washington, D.C. protest. And if you know me, you know why I think that's funny. Uh, I just do. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it's been hot. Um, earlier in the week, first, uh, starting last weekend, I guess, or sometime, my, my AC unit wasn't really working all that well. And uh, I, I, I think uh, what I did to correct the problem, actually corrected it, I'm not sure, but I just took a hose with a with a high pressure sprayer on there and hosed out all the there's this like band of uh, fins or whatever it is I don't, I don't know what, I don't know the proper name for them that that run around the entire top portion of the AC unit which is a you know, big ground mount AC unit there and I and they look clean when I was looking at them they look clean anyway I started rinsing them out with with the high pressure hose there and a lot of dirt came pouring out of those things. A lot of dirt. Uh, sock made a funny toe. Sock. <laughs> anyway, so, <laughs> so um, yeah, I hosed that all around the end of those, and it's been working good ever since then. However, I think the humidity's been lower, and it, it seems like maybe this this AC unit works better in a low humidity situation uh, than a high humidity situation. So I, I can't be sure, but anyway, it's been working great, so I, I'm happy about that. Um, it, uh, yeah, it was 96 or something today, something like that here. Hot! <laughs> it's cooled off nicely now. 82 degrees outside at this present point in time. Maybe only 81. Oh, ooh, nice, nice. Uh, so. <laughs> oh, God, anything else going on? Let me think of any kind of, uh, interesting real liberty media oh woodman woodman are you out there are you listening are you tuned in i noticed he fell out of the chat um uh but woodman has got his own uh youtube streaming thing set up so he can start doing some some youtube streaming like some of the other guys on there that go up there and they show you various events going on uh around the world live so um that'll be cool you know uh once he gets uh some kind of real content going and he gets all of his little uh, issues ironed out. It's working. Everything's fine. But uh, he's still new at all, all the programs and, and how to move things around and get things going. So congratulations to the Woodman. Um, I think that's all the RLM news that I have. Yeah, yeah. I can't think of anything else. Oh, uh, who is it? Uh, 
SLC Mike. Mike is moving, for those of you that know Mike, so he may be not around for a few days. I, I, I don't know. Um, I, I, I don't know. Um, that's another great story, Rob. I, 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 I really like that story, although I, from what I've heard, because I, I, I listen to the uh, radio sometimes uh, to see what the enemy, uh, I mean the uh, uh, talk show idiot morons, uh, statists that are on the radio is talking, uh, what, what they have to say about various things. <laughs> and they don't like that at all. Anyway, uh, Rob Works posted a link. Movement to defund the police is gaining unprecedented support nationwide. And, and they do have my support. But according to the morons, I forget which morons they were on the radio. Uh, there's so many of them. And they come off and on throughout the day. And I, I don't really recognize their voices. Uh, and, I, and I only listen a few minutes at a time anyway. When I'm busy doing something. Uh, else that, that I require distraction from, whether it's cooking or uh, doing some other kind of little work uh, somewhere where I'm not near the computer and I want to uh, hear what's going on with the idiots. Um, but they think that, that those guys, those status boys, think that uh, it's it's the left-wing loonies. That's who wants to defund the police. No, it's anybody that doesn't want to be uh, bullied and, and beaten and, and murdered. Uh, by a bunch of jackbooted thugs. That's who wants to defund the police. And what we're talking about, as far as defunding the police, uh, at least my understanding, without clicking his link and reading it, um, is the fact that the federal government sends your local police departments military equipment and gives them military training. And so they act like military guys. And not just your average military guys. But but uh, the most evil military guys were and and they think of you. They look at you because they're in that mindset. You are an enemy, an enemy to them. And it doesn't matter anything that you have to say. They don't care. They don't listen. They 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 won't even hear you. You can tell them anything you want. The truth of the fact of the matter. Like I'm not this person. I did nothing. You are coming after me for, for all the wrong reasons. You're in the wrong house. They don't care. They don't listen to you. you your, your words do not penetrate their ears. Uh, so, and also, they also get federal money stolen from you, of course. Uh, so, um, overall, uh, throughout, uh, any time the federal government puts their hands on something, it really hoses it up, and it becomes far more totalitarian than it ever should have been. Well, it never should have been any, any amount at all, but uh, it, than, it, than it previously was under local control, generally speaking. Some of, the, some of the local guys are just as bad without any federal involvement. But, I mean, just take a look at your, your schools and what has happened since the Department of Education started. The uh, education quality has rolled off so far into the ditch it's it, it's it's unimaginable uh, how how far it's gone down or look at your your currency your dollar your dollar uh when prior to a federal reserve uh coming into play back in 1913 um the dollar was moving along oh you know whatever fine in some degree to some degree but once the federal reserve got their hands on it as a way to quote, stabilize, unquote, the dollar, uh, yeah, it's it's stabilized at basically zero at this point, but it started rolling off pretty quickly, uh, well, it started off a little bit slowly when the Federal Reserve started, and of course, once the Federal Reserve started, uh, they needed a way to steal more from you, so they it, it created the income tax. <laughs> yes, so, I mean, if you're like a constitutional guy, yeah, you look at the income tax and you go, wait a minute, this is not, uh, you can't do this according to the Constitution. Well, they wrote an amendment, so they could. And, and and they said, oh, we have to ratify it through these states. But they never did. The, the income tax was never ratified through the constitutional process to make it an actual amendment. So, uh, but that's okay. If you try and prove that in a court of law, uh, then they will throw you in a, in a deep, dark hole somewhere where you're, you'll never be able to speak up again. 
Um, yeah, just ask Larkin Rose about that. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, yes, Rob. Federal help always comes with strings attached. Whew. All right, I'm going to kick it off with some music here, because that's what I like to do. No, no, right. And also, the Federal Reserve was never even brought up to be ratified. That's not constitutional. Uh, yeah, whatever. Nothing but silver and gold, according to the Constitution. Like I said, you have to be, if you believe in that Constitution thing. <laughs> I do not need a job with, well, with anybody, but certainly not any jackboot. <laughs> uh, Torrance County is probably less bad than a lot of them, but, you know. Uh, <laughs> certainly less bad than Albuquerque uh, or Bernalillo County, um, but uh, yeah. All right, we're going to play some jams right here, right now, and uh, hopefully you enjoy these. I'll be back after. Kick you off with a little ZD Top. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, that's Leo Roccioli there um, uh, with his buddy, Rabia Massad, uh, covering ACDC's uh, Back in Black. Yeah, very nice uh, cover there. I, I mean, it's like ACDC's Back in Black is pretty much heavy metal, but this is a heavy metal cover of a heavy metal song. Um, <laughs> and he does take it up another lot, another couple notches there uh, on on that song. All right, before that we had Free doing Wishing Well, and we kicked it off with ZZ Top and Brown Sugar, which uh, that just came out in January. There, that that version of that song, anyway. So uh, yeah, it's good stuff, good stuff. Um, so uh, yeah, if you weren't watching uh, the video, some of you don't have a. Uh, access to the video for whatever reason. Um, yeah, he had a guy, he called his buddy, or his buddy called him on Skype, and uh, and they got together and did that song uh, there over the Skype. So uh, that, that's pretty cool. Um, if, you, if you like things that are cool, do you like things that are cool? <laughs> oh, man, I tell you. <laughs> I kind of I like things that are cool. You know, cool stuff. It's cool. That's why they call it cool. Stop that. Stop that. Dang video. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. All right. Enough of that. Uh, it's not supposed to start automatically, but sometimes... sometimes uh, my little uh, video, automatic video stopper doesn't automatically stop the video immediately. So, uh, well, I got a phone call. I got a, I got a phone call coming. Hello, caller. You're on Freaker's Ball. Hey. <laughs> hey, I, I recognize that voice. What's up? Yeah, well, you sound kind of echoey. What's, go, what's going on there? I don't know. Are you're on, you're on headset? Yep. Okay. I'm just saying you sound a little, <laughs> little echoey. I'll turn it down. Is it better? Yeah. No, I mean, it's not that it was too high. It was just kind of echoey. Oh, I'm not sure why that is. All right. No clue, man. Right, so it sounds like you're in the uh, in the concert hall or something. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. You're up on you stage. Call back? You're, you're Let me hang up and call back? Uh, you could try, sure. Oh, okay. If you want, I, I don't I, know I, what I mean, the problem would be. I, I don't either. I mean, you're understandable and clear and everything. It just sounds a little, uh, you know, like you're, you're maybe you're... Is you're, my mic not in my mouth good enough? Is, is, are, you, are you talking on the computer from the bathroom? Is that what's going no. on here? Are you no, sure? No. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, that, that's kind of the sound, that, that kind of sound. Yeah. Echoey. Yeah, yeah, just a little, you know, not really echo, but a, a very slight reverb. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, whatever. No big deal. No big deal. No big deal. I'm I trying to turn some background noise on or something. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. Yeah. I, hollow. Okay. 
Well, cool. uh, I can call back if you want. Ah, oh, you're all right. You're fine. Uh, okay. Cool. Yeah, I am. So how's it going? Yeah, it's going. Yeah, well, go, going. Hanging in there. That's good to know. Good to know. It's better to be hanging in there than not. Yes, it is. <laughs> Now, now and, I, have to, I, have to, I have to ask: Did uh, did Rob pressure you into calling? No, no. <laughs> All right. A little bit. <laughs> A little bit. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's that kind of guy pressuring people. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. No, I feel. Weird because it doesn't sound right. Ah, uh, you, you, you could call back if you want to see if it works. I, I don't know. Go ahead. All go, right. Go ahead. Hang I'll up. I'll try that. Yeah, hang up. Call back. That'd be good. All right. Yeah, you dang instigator. In instigator. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got here. And did I it? Okay. Hello. Uh, maybe it's a little better. I don't know. Oh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's good. All right. Yeah. That's what you get. You get what you get. That's what it is. Yeah. Whoops. Uh, uh, anyway. What? You can, you, can, you can ask for a refund at the box office. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does sound fine. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, boy. So, Matt is saying you bought rocks. Yes, I bought rocks. Oh, my God. I bought so many rocks. I'm freaking crazy. So you got rocks in your head. Fluorite, freaking agate bowls, like quartz, carved animals, tourlamine, um, tourmaline, some amber from Indonesia. That's really kicked ass. Great. Yeah, yeah, I like it. So, um, the heck? I yeah, no, that's I'll cool. And, and you're yeah, gonna... no, I went, I went nuts, but and, and you're no, gonna... not them kind of rocks. Where I'm, I don't touch that crap. Uh, crap uh, kills. And, and you're gonna use those for art projects or something? Yeah, all some amethyst I got. You know, I'm gonna start doing wire wrapping. Okay, cool. Of them, of some, some of them make like pendants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, give it a shot. Great. Yeah, I found some twenty gauge copper wire, like just a small ro little roll of it. Oh. Uh -huh. I found that in the basement. I'm gonna use that for one of the projects. Fun. Yeah. So you know, I I'm just starting out and just. Uh, trying to be creative, <laughs> not not just starting out being creative, but um, doing the wire wrapping thing. And I ordered my um, tie dye supplies so I can start doing tie dyeing again, which I'm really excited about. So nice, nice. Yep. And you have a soldering soldering iron or something? No, you just the 20 gauge wire is um, bendable. Okay. So you just shape it how you want it. All right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. I I understand how that works. I just thought maybe a little little bead of solder on there would hold everything in place, but. Yeah, you can do it so you don't have to use any welding at all. But I mean, it would. You could do that if you wanted to. Right. Well. So. I probably will. I probably shot, I, see how I, it goes. I, pro I probably would because I like soldering. Yeah, I don't have that though. <laughs> yeah. I don't have that. I mean, I could get one, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, they're cheap enough. Yeah, so it's just um, getting bored. <laughs> yeah. So I have to, like, do something. Sure, oh, sure. Oh, I bought some sage, some, uh, three bundles of sage, and then some loose sage. From the same place, nice. And some other, some other wrapping wire from there. Yeah. But uh, I need to get more wrapping wire for sure. 
Yeah. Yeah, they... The cops do that crap, dude, Rob. Yep, yep. For those listening, uh, not it, not seeing any chat here, uh, Rob Works posted a video, I mean a, a link, shocking video shows cop doing drive-by shooting with rubber bullets on kids. Yeah. Yeah. That's, they don't care what age you are, what sex you are, what color you are. They anymore. do not. They don't. No, they've been, they've been uh, more and more violent as as these protests continue. Yes, and, and your protest protest against uh, our violence. We'll show you violence. <laughs> well, I learned also that rubber bullets they're not using them correctly when they're shooting them. Yeah. Because you're supposed to fire it in the ground and it ricochets up into somebody. You're not supposed to directly hit them with a rubber bullet. Oh, point yeah. blank. Yeah, they definitely so, shoot directly at people. They're using them incorrectly to begin with, okay? And they're not non-lethal. They yeah. are extremely lethal. Rubber bullets are extremely lethal. So for them to be firing these on people, it's it's ridiculous. All right. Well, all, all well they, did, they did it at Standing Rock. It's not like the first time this has happened. I'm not saying that at all. Yeah. I'm just saying that's what they're doing this time, too. Right. Well, all of their quote unquote less than lethal uh, things they use are lethal. Even like a taser. Yeah, a taser is t- definitely legal. Right. Or, uh, lethal. Right. They have killed people using with tasers, obviously. Ab- absolutely. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, whatever. Whatever it is, they have all these things and and they kill people with them. Yeah, they do. And. They'll bring out every tool at their disposal, and they've been militarized. The police have. Uh, to and, the, yeah, right to the maximum. Yeah, and so yeah, uh, the police are like military now. Basically. Well, right. I mean, you give them you give them all basic military training, and you give them all military equipment, and you train them to to use all those things. What do you think is going <laughs> to happen? Exactly. <laughs> it's insane. It's insane. Uh, it really is. And, you know, I'm not for violence at all in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. I just want you to get that out there because I am not for violence at all. Okay? I am not. Okay. So... What's happened, though, is the looting part and the rioting part aspect of the protest has given the whole protest a bad rap because people are lumping the rioters, quote-unquote rioters, in with the protesters. And this is how, why and how, sometimes when we're voicing our opinion as Americans, it doesn't work because it's being infiltrated. Moose. Um, is your microphone positioned differently than it was before? I'm get, I don't know. I'm getting a little crackling. Oh, I don't know. And it's like maybe your your mic is too close to your face or something. Oh, okay. I don't, I mean, okay. I don't know. Okay, is that better? Well, uh, we'll see. Because when, when when you you know get a little excited, it happens. Oh, I don't know why it's happening. <laughs> 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 but. The, that's a tactic that the cops use or the government uses to distract from the, the, the issue at hand, which is police brutality, period. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, it's just not the, all the protesters doing all of the rioting. Per no, se. no, of course not. And And, you know... There are a lot of infiltrators um, uh, involved there in that, and, and a lot of those are being funded by outside sources. Uh, yes. And and uh, they're they're sent in there to to stir up trouble. Right, and it takes away from the the cause at hand, and then what ha- what happened historically for the last fifty years, at least since I have been alive. Uh, it just gets forgotten about, and they just keep going. And it's like, 
I, it, this can't happen anymore. Right. They can't keep going like this. No, no. People are not going to put up with it. Right, and and you know even all like the idiot news stories, and uh, well, I mean a lot of people actually believe too that uh, this is because it's a it's a it's a black thing, you know it's black versus white thing, da da da. But it's not. It's it's about the police brutality. It's about the the, oh, yes. the heavy hand of handy heavy hand of the government goons, and um, it, it, it's it's that's what's going on. And I mean they kill. Right. They kill, you know, more white people than they kill black people, but, um, uh, you know, killing white people doesn't really uh, spark rage in anybody for some reason. I, I, I don't right. Really... Well, and then someone pointed out that in the case of that white woman getting shot in her alley by that cop, he yeah. was a black cop. He was Somalian. Right. And he gets convicted right away. Right? He gets charged and convicted right away, which I I originally thought he would not get off, or he would get off. Yeah. I did not think he would be convicted. But he was convicted. Yeah. But that's one of the few examples of a cop being actually convicted of murder, of the murder they com commit. Absolutely. So, I don't know if he was made to be an example. They try to make him an example, but someone pointed out that if that was a white cop and a black guy, a white, a black woman, a white cop and a black woman, it wouldn't have gone down like that. Right, not at all. In in court. Yeah. So even there, you're fucked. If you're a person of color, historically in this country, and even your great grandparents, if they couldn't speak English when they got here, they were teased and ridiculed for that. Yeah. By English speaking people. Hey, okay. Donna. So, anyway, I'm just saying, everyone is going to fucking remember fucking history. Shit like this happens, and people just, their memory of history goes out the goddamn fucking window. Right. So, I mean, you, you think about, I don't know, it's just, historically, cops get off. They get allowed to murder people, okay? And, and they don't lose their jobs, even. Okay, Moose, can can you like swing your microphone up? I don't know. Well, just, I mean, it's by my fucking face. I don't know. I, I, I know. I just Something's try. Something's fucked up. I don't know. Something must be no, fucked wait, up. Wait, wait, wait. Just, 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 just try and swing it up more towards your eye. Up there, up, up there. It's up by my eye now. Okay. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. I just, I, I'm not sure what it is, but. Uh, Something so I that's that's at least something. Let me go. I don't know. I mean, okay. it changed me. Nothing changed. All right. Well, whatever. It's just I'm getting crackling. That's all I know. So. I don't know. Yeah. So anyway, I mean, it's it's okay. I, I just. Suggestion, that's all. <laughs> Still there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. I'm here, I don't know. All right, that's fine. Maybe there's a setting off or something on that voice meter thing. Are you are you running voice meter? Let me just smooth these down. Is that better? Ah, right, we'll, we'll see as you go along. Like I said, I don't know. It's a... It's a wasn't happening all the time. I was just getting some crackling periodically when, you know, when you're Okay. Talking. So, uh, it sounds fine. All right. Do you say so? I do. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Anyway. Um, yeah, I didn't mean to interrupt your role there. But. No, that's okay. No, we've been talking about the same issue for 11 years since we've been doing this show. Right. It's been a constant issue. And I mean, obviously it was an issue before 11 years ago, but um, our whole show could be just about that subject. Only. Absolutely, absolutely. Think about that. Absolutely. The stats on that. What, you know, I mean, what do you say, Grim, it was three people get at least three a day get murdered by the pigs? 
Uh, no, I don't think it's three a day, but it's so it's somewhere in that range. It's right in that range. Okay. And these are these are calls or people like Rollins. I think it was pointing out in the chat. Rollins was pointing out in the chat room that nowadays when you call a cop to like a health issue, a mental health issue, yeah. who's the first one that show up? Uh, the 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 freaking pigs. The pigs. And why is that? Why isn't an EMT the first one to show well, up? Why did why did the pigs show up at all? Right. Why? And for a mental health thing, the last thing you want to do is pull a gun, your gun on a person. You know what I right. mean? And they always do. You, you, yeah. You need a trained professional to show up to these. And that's not a pig, okay? Yeah. Because. Nine times, I mean, we've done so many stories where people call because their adult child is freaking out. The one that I had, like, a pen knife or something on him. It's like, and the cops killed him. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter what they have. Uh, no, it, it, it's, they, the way they, they, these calls are handled, it's ridiculous. They, they shot a guy just a couple of days ago, or maybe yesterday it was. Um, he, had, he had a hammer in his waistband. I heard about that. And, and they killed him. And I, I don't know, you know, why the guy had a hammer. Maybe he was breaking windows to loot. Maybe he was coming home from work and he was a, you know, a, a carpenter or something. I, I don't know. But, Who uh, knows? All right. Yeah. Unless so. you see, I mean, cause they, apparently, oh, we thought it was a gun. Really, dude? Yeah. Well, you know, they, they, they'll, they'll, if you have a cell phone, they'll kill you. Oh, it was a gun. And if you got... Right. You know, uh, 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 what do they call it? Gaming controller. One kid sh answered the door. It was the wrong house, of course. How do you get the wrong house so often? Okay, I'm sorry. Wrong house? That excuse, I don't buy that no more from the cops. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Get it right. Don't go in the wrong house, dude. And just go in there all guns a blazing and kill innocent people. Exactly. You know, come on. Anyway, the one kid answers the door with a gaming controller. It was the wrong house. And um, and uh, they shot him because they thought, that, they said, well, we thought that was a gun. Yeah, yeah. It's like, what? I know, I know. It's just, yeah, I mean, there's so many stories. Sure, sure, sure. And it's just ridiculous. I, It's just ridiculous. I think they just, like Minneapolis, I saw, they were talking about disbanding their whole police department. Right, I saw that. It'd be great. But, but Which, of course, they were going to disband it and then put in the, put another one back in place. Put it place. back together. Right. Yeah. 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 I like, mean, oh. people cheer about that, but you're like, oh, okay, well, I wouldn't cheer so soon yet on that one. Yeah. Hey, um, um, open your any desk. I, I want to adjust your settings. If you, uh, if you would. I didn't do anything to it. I know, but I still want to. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> right. Oh boy. So yeah, I, I mean, you know, it it, it gets it, it gets so old, you know. Um, it does. Having... Oh, I was talking about how no one's talking about Native Americans and all this. Right, they like, are not. Where are they? Because oh, where are they? You know, well, today actually there was this rally in Eau Claire, and some people spoke, and one girl was Native American from the Lakota Ray Reservation, which I where I lived for ten years. Yeah. So that was good to see that. See, I, my levels are not. Yeah, your levels are way down. Let's see. I mean, I didn't do anything. That's the thing. So. Weird. All right. Well, I uh, I can restart my computer. That might help. I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know either. But um, maybe wait, wait, I'm, I'm 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 doing this. Oh, right. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Let me see something. The right mic. I don't know. Right. Not no man. Well, that that just change, turning that one part off may have fixed it. So. Oh, okay. We'll see. All right. All right. 
Okay. Well, we'll see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So, what the hell? I mean, go ahead, bro. I, I just said, yeah. What I mean, what uh, uh, if if um, all of these uh, things going on right now, um, if they don't address the whole situation uh, mm-hmm. about the whole uh, cop thuggery. Which is that's what it is. Yeah, I mean, call it brutality. Yeah. You can call it brutality if you want, but it's freaking suggery. It's the, yeah. it's their whole attitude. It's the way they act. It's the way they think of of you and me and everybody else. That's yeah. not one of them. Uh, right. They they they, 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 <laughs> they like I said, they treat us as if we're the enemy. We're the enemy, and and, and so then we are. Yep. So it, it's nothing that we you know we say uh, to them is going to matter. You know, hey, you're in the wrong house. Don't shoot me. Bam. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know, you look like this other guy. Well, I'm not that other guy. I just came from work or whatever. Well, you look right. like that other guy. You're you're resisting. Slam to the ground. You know, it's a... Uh, right. Uh, uh, whatever. Anyway. Yesterday, yesterday with that 75-year-old guy. Yeah, just, just bam, right to the ground. And they just keep walking. And he's he's bleeding from the back of his head. It's like, you guys are assholes. <laughs> you yeah, I, know? I, 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 saw, I saw a thing today, a meme, I guess, um, where it showed that, okay, on one day, uh, which would have been yesterday, or Wednesday, mm-hmm. Wednesday, uh, there was a, a couple of, a few cops, a group of cops, uh, kneeling with the protesters, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and they showed, they did a close-up on this one guy, and they said, Yesterday, kneeling with protesters. Today, and then they showed that same guy was the guy that slammed that guy to the ground. Oh, really? Yeah, and I don't know if it was true or not. It, yeah. it, it, it looked like it could have been a mock-up, but either way, either way, it, it's that that is a true thing that, that could absolutely happen, that you may think they're your buddies one day, but they are not. And, no, and they will, not. they will fuck you up the next day. If I'm they, sure that guy had no did not think that they would do that to him. No, he was just standing there trying to talk to him, and bam, right out of the ground. So, right in the back of his head, too. Yep, yep, yep. And they just keep, some of them just keep walking. Exactly. Then people are like, oh, he's bleeding. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, come on. I know, I know. Yep. I know. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, um, oh anyway, anyway, did you did you look outside tonight? I did. Did you see the moon? I did. It's did awesome. It look, did it look like a strawberry to you? <laughs> uh, it looked more white. All right. When well, I saw it, it should, depending on where you are, you're going to get this effect or not. But uh, right. Uh, anyway, this is on the on the on the Sputnik news here. Uh, on Friday, people across most parts of the world will be able to witness a strawberry moon. This full moon will bring about a partial penumbral eclipse uh, when the moon passes through the Earth's outer shadow. So it says the, the strawberry moon will be much dimmer than the recent series of supermoons, not because the moon will be further away from Earth, but because it will pass through part of the Earth's shadow to create the lunar eclipse. So it's pretty cool. Um, but, you know, it's not, it's not going to look pink the whole night to everybody, so whichever. Okay. Whichever. I had to drive to River Falls last night, and when I was driving back, I could see it like rising. Yeah. That was really awesome. It was huge last night, too, but probably a little bit bigger tonight now. Yeah, it should be a little bit and, and a little bit dimmer. Okay. So, I just um... I I grew up in Minneapolis. I know I've known my whole life the cops are dicks there. <laughs> yeah. Basically, seriously, um, it doesn't surprise me that this happened in Minneapolis. I mean, it happened all over every city, though. Yeah. yeah. It happens everywhere. So. Sure. Sure. Um, it's it's uh, not just Minneapolis. Yeah. And it's all over the world too. Right. Jack with the thugs. Absolutely. All over the world. Yep. And their militaries are, or their cops are militarized. I mean, they like sure in Hong are. Kong and 
Or they've been protesting in Hong Kong for a year. Yeah. Apparently. Right. Yeah, and then and they, that kind of went away for a little bit during the beginnings of the Corona bullshit, right? Uh, uh, but uh, but it, it's it's back now, and um, uh, they still was a, a, a video or photo of uh, people in France protesting, uh-huh. and, and there was millions of them out there in the streets, and, um, and also there was no, no looting or rioting, but there was millions of. I mean, that that's 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 what I call a. a, a a protest. Right, yeah. when there's or, a million or, people. Exactly. Yeah, or, you know, oh, yep. just tons of them filling all the way down down the road through up through the Arch de Triomphe. Yeah, right. France has been at it for a while. They have, no they have, I was going to say that. They've also been protesting against gov- their government for a long time as well. Right, but also yeah, yeah. In, yep. in, throughout the UK, you know, uh, in, in, right. in, in England and in Scotland and Ireland, um, they're, they're all at it. Uh, Italy, uh, lots, lots of places. Now, I doubt that they're doing that in places like North Korea. <laughs> because, uh, probably not. Because they just kill them all. <laughs> I mean, they, they wouldn't put up with it. Right. Um. um and they, they, they may the not, thing. they may not uh-huh. even know about any of this over there in North Korea. They've got tight. They control. might not. Yeah, they got really tight control on information over there. But uh, yeah, they do. Um, yeah. There's supposedly this big thing planned for DC in August. All right. So that that'll be interesting to see that. And what what kind of thing is that? The, a giant protest like the one you're talking about in Paris. Or, oh, okay, okay, that'd be great. Yeah. yeah you know, um, that's what it, that's what they did during the Vietnam protest. Right, and you, I don't know if you saw it or not. You probably saw, it, but. Uh, they're putting these big, heavy-duty metal fences all around further, I saw that. further around the White House out there. And it's just right. Like, I mean, you already got these huge fences. You got, you got, you know, uh, snipers on the rooftops. You got traps in the lawn. Uh, you, you got all, <laughs> all, all, you know, you got all this stuff going on already. Uh, you really need this additional extra fence going on out there. Um, exactly. Uh, I guess tell, they tell think they do. Uh, yeah, Syrian girl tweeted about that uh, today. That uh, this, this is, I mean, because she's uh, been around it, and uh, when the color revolutions were going on over there yeah. in the Middle East, uh, you, you know, Syrian girl on on Twitter, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So she tweeted about that today. Uh, let, me, let me see. I, I may be able to find that tweet. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, so is it uh, it's it's, um, it's been a little bit nuts. Oh, here it is, Syrian girl. Okay, um, all of the below can be true at the same time. The United States has a police brutality problem. The United States has a race relations and sectarian problem. George Floyd was murdered. This uprising is not organic. The, all, all those things can be true at the same time. Uh, she says, I'm from Syria. I understand the color revolutions, and that's my expert opinion. So, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, so, uh, yeah, she... she um, uh, she's definitely uh, she she would know well more than I would that's for sure um, yeah <laughs> so <laughs> anyway I mean yeah they're trying to make it a race a race war but people are seeing through that now because with the example of the seventy five year old white guy that they fucking mowed down on you know left them there to bleed oh. Right. Really? That's not an example of, I don't know what it is. But they don't give a fuck. Exactly. No matter what color you are. Right. People are seeing through that now. Yep. So, it's yeah. out of, they're out of control. I've said that for years. I've been saying that for 11 years. The cops are out of control in this country. Very much, very much. So, uh, yep. They have been for a while, longer than 11 years, longer than we've been doing the show. Know. KKK has been a while well in this country. It never went away. Yeah, I don't even know if they're... I mean, I think that's all kind of a staged setup, too, but... Um, 
I don't yeah, know. nowadays it might be, but there's some hardcore people up there that are... And I, and I was wondering, something else I was wondering. Mm-hmm. What the hell is a Ku Klux? I understand what a clan is, obviously, but what the hell is a Ku Klux? <laughs> I, uh, some made up thing, I think. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what it means, dude. Right. Right. <laughs> Just kind of wondering. I can look it up and see if I can find out. But... That's all right. I'm going to play some more music. Um, okay. If you wouldn't mind trying to try the reboot while while I'm doing this. Yeah, I'll um, do it. I'll that'd be great. Happens. That'd be great. Could could help. We'll, okay. We'll, we'll see. Um, all righty. All right. Oh, that's where I was. Duh. I was typing early, and I was—I couldn't figure. And my and I, I looked, and I where my text wasn't there, and I just realized it was on my other monitor, on on the other side, my other computer. <laughs> gets a gets a little confusing figuring out where the hell your <laughs> your cursor is, and you got your running two computers at once, uh, and and you're and you use the same mouse and keyboard for both. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to play some jams here. Uh, I'll be back in a little bit. Oh, boy. <laughs> ah, yes, The Clash. Clamp down. That song could have been written for this, exactly what's going on in the world today. Yep, it was written back in the early 80s. Uh, the clamp down by the Clash, or just clamp down. Uh, before that, we had uh, Reverend Peyton's big damn band there. Clap your hands out for Kate. And uh, we kicked it off there with the Moose Girl Request. Judas Priest, you've got another thing coming. <laughs> you sure do. Um, <laughs> ain't no doubt about that. Oh, buddy, you got a lot of more. You got a lot more things coming. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, let's see how this works. And hello? Hello. What? Hello. Hey, well, that sounds the same, I guess. I don't know. It's all the same? I think so. I, I don't know. Uh, Crap. Yeah, whatever. It's not not a big deal. I was just hoping. Oh, okay. Darn it. Yeah, that's all right. Dang it, darn it. Well, you know. What do you do? I don't know. Technology, live radio, you know. Yeah, who knows? I don't know. Maybe my cords are messed up or something. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's something on my end. I just don't know. I, uh, I don't think so, but I mean, everything else sounds good. As far as I can tell. Uh, yeah, I can't see any damage. Yeah, so. I can't yeah. see any damage or anything on the cord. Hello? Uh, yeah, I'm still here. It's better? Uh, I think so. I mean, I don't know. Keep talking. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Yeah, that sounds fine. Oh, all right. Okay, well, anyway, <laughs> here we are. Here we are. Yep. <laughs> you know, I, cool I, 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 I think, I don't think Matt's... Uh, so much of a sh- I think he has a crush on you. Maybe. Yeah, and, I, and who could blame him, really? I mean... <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, so he's 19 and you're not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, my oh. God. That's funny, Graham. Yeah, you're, you're funny, Graham. <laughs> Uh, uh, just an uh, observation. I, I don't know. Hey, anyway, um, one of the things I saw that mm-hmm. uh, it's not really an answer to anything, but it it may be helpful. Okay. Um, uh, this is posted up on Courthouse News on uh, yesterday. Um, a new House bill would revoke qualified immunity for police. Um, okay. Good. Yeah, that that is good. And if you're not familiar with what qualified immunity is, basically it means they're pigs, so they can't be sued um, for for any of their actions. They're not responsible for any of their actions. 
Uh, anyway, so here it is. Uh, a bill that would make it easier to sue police officers and other government officials for violating people's civil rights was introduced in the U.S. House by two lawmakers on Thursday. The bill would eliminate qualified immunity, the ability of police officers to argue they acted in good faith when they violated someone's constitutional rights. It also allows the police to uh, be sued for enforcing a law if the law is subsequently changed. Uh, the, the doctrine has... Why was, it, why, was it, why was it given in the first place? That's my question. Oh, that's a Joe Biden thing, but... Uh, Oh, okay. Uh, that's, 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 that's another story. Uh, okay, yeah, it is. Right. Okay, so so the doctrine, uh, the the qualified immunity doctrine, has come under attack recently by by both liberal and conservative scholars. So uh, also, several uh, current Supreme Court justices have expressed concerns about the qualified immunity. Uh, Justice Sonia Sotomayor once described it as sanctioning a shoot-first, think-later approach to policing. Right, Which right. is exactly what it was. And, it is, yep. and, and has complained that in practice, uh, the doctrine amounts to an absolute shield protecting, yeah. uh, pr protecting cops who are accused of using excessive force. Right. At the other end of the ideological spectrum, Justice Clarence Thomas said he has a growing concern with our qualified immunity jurisprudence. So there you have the far left and the far right on the, on the, on the SCOTUS. And suggested yeah. that the defense was never intended by Congress. Well, intended or not, that's the way it's being used. Right. Um, so qualified immunity has a legitimate purpose, but it has gotten out of control. And courts have taken what was the most modest defense and turned it into a rule where most of the time you can't sue. According right. to uh, Professor William Bout of the University of Chicago Law School, uh, author of a law review article, uh, the Supreme Court first allowed police officers to use qualified immunity all the way back in 1967. Imagine uh, that. In a, in a case where police arrested a group of black and white clergymen for using a segregated bus term, terminal. Uh, so they they didn't segregate when they were told by the government you must segregate. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I know! I, I know! I know! Uh, so, so the Mississippi law that allowed the arrests was oh late. Mississippi. There you go. Uh, well, there, it, there you go. So that that law was later declared unconstitutional after they fucked over those people. Um, yeah. Uh, but but the court. Of course, it's always after the fact. It's never ahead of time. Like, let's do this before this happens. But the court said, you know, the court said the police could not be held liable if they acted in. Quote, good faith. Oh God! Yeah, and they no were intended. And they were not required to predict that the law would eventually be struck down. Well, that's kind of yeah. You, nobody has a crystal ball, so I mean, right? That, yeah. that's understandable. Uh, anyway, exactly. So the, the Supreme Court changed the rules in 1982, saying that what mattered was not the police officer's subjective good faith but rather whether the constitutional right at issue was clearly established at a time, which, of course, it was. Um, what happened? Okay, there it is. Uh, recently, the Reuters, Reuters uh, news agency analyzed 529 federal appeals court cases and found a growing trend towards judges excusing police brutality under the qualified immunity doctrine. So, more than ever, they are ignoring the question of whether cops have violated a plaintiff's constitutional rights. Uh, they are in increasingly requiring a nearly identical case from the past to serve as precedent that clearly establishes the officer's actions as illegal, a high standard that, again, <laughs> makes it hard to win against police. And what they don't talk about here, what they don't say here, is, mm -hmm. let's say, uh, wherever it is, whatever town you're living in, Whatever, yep. whatever, whatever, whatever town you're living in, um, they at some point in the past they had said uh, beating a guy over the head because he you didn't like something he said um, uh, was was not covered by qualified immunity. Then in your area that would work, but if they right. did it, but if they did it in my area and that ruling had not prior been made, then right. they're, they're perfectly fine to beat people over the head. Uh, because they didn't like what you said. So they, they don't mention that here, but that's a big p 
part part of this. Instead of using like uh, case law from from all over the states, they use it from your locality, just a small right. small little area. This, right, this qualified but it's different if you're talking about New York City. <laughs> oh well, right, but but then again, uh, it, 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 like if you're in Bronx instead of the Queens, then it right. would, have, would have had to have been a a, 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 a Bronx yeah, I thing. Hear that. Yep. Yeah, it's a really totally fucked. I mean, it's like it almost, is fucked up. Uh, it's almost impossible to be able to sue a cop uh, because those, especially. I mean, it's like you said, going back to 1967 here, uh, the, the, yeah. the 1982 thing. I, that, that's where I think Biden got involved. Uh, there in my Ohio. whole life. Oh God! No, but I mean, in the, in this particular thing, he he was yeah. not he was not happy that cops were being sued, so he was like, "Well, yeah, you know what? Fuck the Volvo." <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So uh, anyway, th this thing says qualified immunity shields police from accountability, impedes true justice, and undermines the constitutional right of every person in the country. Uh, that was from a Democratic representative, Ayanna Presley of Massachusetts. Uh, said in a yeah. joint, joint statement with our co-sponsor on the bill, Representative, Representative Justin Amash, who's really probably a, a halfway decent guy uh, of Michigan, and a former Republican who joined the Libertarian Party in April. So um, anyway, there's a lot more to the story. You guys can read it if you want. But uh, it, they didn't need any paramedics because the cop killed them. They didn't need paramedics. They went to probably let the paramedics in at them. There was no. a lady there, for, you know that. There was people begging the, the cop to get off of his neck, dude. Yeah, he was dead by then, although they said he died later in the hospital. He didn't. No, his ambulance was his hearse. Yeah. The so, ambulance that came was his hearse because he was dead when that ambulance or that hurt ambulance got there. It was, a, it was a bunch of cops that showed up, not an ambulance, not no EMTs showed up. Right. Yeah. So, anyway, so if if they do finally get rid of this qualified immunity, that will be a plus. In a small way. I mean, you'll be able to still try and you, know, you will be able to actually try and sue the police, uh, whether or not that that uh, you'll you'll actually get that. Because, I mean, you see all the time if, the, if these cops go to court, uh, the, the citizens just vote, well, he was a cop, so he was right. Right. Yeah. So will it be any different uh, in, in a civil court, which there's uh, you don't have to have uh, a unanimous decision? Uh, I think it's two thirds in a, in a civil court, right. or it might be it might just be a simple majority. I forget, uh, and, and that may also depend upon the uh, depend upon the uh, the case that's that's being that's going before them. So anyway, yeah. anyway it's it's a good thing. It's a uh, you know it's not it's not the best thing in the world, but uh, yeah. Um, no, um, I think some people are still shocked. I think people are still. Waking up to the fact of what they're willing to do to stop us from peacefully assembling and voicing our opinions about something that's wrong, obviously wrong, right? In our country, and people, I think a lot of people have woken up. And after you know the National Guard was called out and all that, that really opened up a lot of people's eyes. I think. Right. That right. haven't been previously. I'm not talking about all you people that already know all this shit. Yeah. I'm talking about the people that don't know all this shit already. Exactly. <laughs> like, some people don't know what an LRAT is. Some people don't know what a rubber bullet is. Some people don't know what a flashbang is. Some people don't know how the tear gas is administered into the crowd. Yeah, it's not it's not nice, people. Okay, I've seen pictures of people getting beaten in the head with those tear gas canisters. It's not pretty. You right. can't can crack skulls. Yeah, they they did. You can they, crack your fucking skull. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is what they're using on their own people. Okay. Exactly. They're using sound weapons that can fucking death make you go fucking death, dude. If they have to bring that out, I right. heard it one time in Minneapolis. And they shut it right off. Yeah. Because I think they realized that they're going to hurt the cops here, too, if they fucking, because they didn't have earplugs in or, you know, not sound protection on. Yeah. You know, who knows why they shut it off, but it was a really eerie sound. It was really eerie. All of yeah. a sudden, everyone's like, what the fuck was that? Yeah, that, <laughs> you know? they, they, that and they also have the, uh, 
the microwave weapon. The MRAP? Yeah. I, I, think that that I, I think that's what it is. I'll put a link for that there. I, oh, think, you that, okay. I think that's what it's called. Uh, anyway, yeah. um, uh, did, did you did you see the video or hear about? Okay, there was uh, this guy driving up the road, and there was the protesters on the side of the road, uh, mm-hmm. and and the, apparently the protesters were throwing a bunch of crap at his car, and he stopped stopped his car and he turned around and 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 went back towards where they were, um, and 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 he jumped out of his car and he had this thing on his hand, which. It looked like this wicked ass kind of claw weapon, and they're and oh they're, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're calling it a Wolverine weapon. I saw part of. It. I didn't watch the video or anything. Okay, it was just a little clip. It was like thirty seconds. Yeah, or I didn't. Like yeah. Um, so uh, he he was yelling at these people. You want to throw crap at my car? Oh, you better stop <laughs> that. Try to throw crap at my car. Uh, and, and 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 they all kind of like ran off, like oh, call the police. This guy wants to get us. Uh, and then he, he just wandered around there for a few seconds. He never came close to anybody with it. Um, uh, but apparently, you know, I will kill you all. Uh, so anyway, they have arrested him on attempted murder um, uh, on this here. Uh, <laughs> says the man caught on camera chasing down Black Lives Matter demonstrators, by, which, by the way, they're all a bunch of white people. Um, <laughs> and, and they looked like, you know, they were 18, 17, you know. They, right, they're, they're kids, like, basically. Yeah, and, and they were throwing shit at some guy's car as he's driving down the road, and he gets pissed off and comes back after him. Uh, oh anyway, so, uh, so Black Lives Matter demonstrators. Uh, okay, so uh, so he came after them with a Wolverine-type claw in Queens, <laughs> and he has, he has been charged with attempted murder. Wow. Uh, Frank Cal- Cavaluzzi, 54 years old, was filmed chasing protesters in Whitestone on Tuesday while wearing a glove with four-inch-long serrated edge blades attached before getting into his SUV and driving onto the sidewalk and attempting to mow down the, 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 the to mow them down, prosecutors said, I will kill you all, he allegedly yelled at the protesters. According, he's uh, fucking insane in uh, memory or something. Well, he, he's messed up, but, I mean, I, I, yeah. can, I can understand his rage at them. Um, yeah. And he say he was arraigned on a laundry list of charges, including attempted murder in the second de- in the second degree, attempted assault in the first and second degree, reckless endangerment in the first degree, menacing in the second degree, endangering the welfare of a child, and criminal possession of a weapon in the fourth degree. Uh, so in a burst of anger and rage, the defendant, allegedly sought to kill protesters who were peacefully, uh, they were throwing shit at his car, peacefully assembled and exercising their right to free speech. Uh, Queens District. They didn't know where peaceful those ones were. Right. So uh, no one at any time should infringe upon another's constitutionally protected freedoms. Right. Well, well, I think throwing stuff in his car, you're you're doing exactly that. Yeah. Uh, And and doing so with the intent to injure and maim is criminal. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah. Anyway, so he's uh, uh has a hundred thousand dollar bail. Could could be up twenty five twenty five years in prison. Uh, and uh, uh, anyway, so uh, it's nonsense, menacing, menacing, possible. And what was Grim? What was the, the the weapon you were talking about? Not MRAP, not LRAD. What did you say? It could be the LRAD. I, I don't know. LRAD's a sound weapon. The MRAD is yeah. their vehicle. Oh, no, there's, vehicle there's one. It's a, it's a microwave. It's a microwave weapon that, that heats up uh, your microwave. skin. Do? D-E-W? Could be. Could be. Directed energy weapon? Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, that's it. Directed yeah. energy weapon. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that sounds right. Yeah, those two. Anyway, so if you, if you look through the comments on the tweet that was associated with that story there, um, mm-hmm. uh, everybody agrees. This is bullshit. This, this guy was not attempting murder. Um, uh, th- th- this guy was self de- acting in self defense. At the most, it was menacing. Um, right. Yeah. So, uh, but that was the the tweet that. Did he actually to... stab somebody? No, he didn't. He okay, just... well, there you go. No, he, he didn't, didn't harm anybody physically. Yeah. No. It, it, uh, uh, you know, he he may have been crazed, uh, and and I, right. and I I can understand people throwing stuff at my car. I'd be crazed too. Um, 
Well, yeah, you don't want that. That's not cool. No, no. I mean, what if your window was down and, and something flew in through your window and hit you right. in the head? Right, in the eye or something. Yeah, you don't know, man. Whatever. Yeah, you don't know. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, they uh, they do have these directed. Oh, come on, I hate these sites. Oh, you're using an ad blocker. How fucking dare you? <laughs> you're using an ad blocker. No fucking way. Yeah. You know what, Link? Now I want to let me close the goddamn link. Well, you, you, I mean, you can unblock it easy enough, but... Yeah, so since it won't let me click it. It's a bad link. Locked up my whole system just now. All right, bastard. Space.com. Space.com? They're usually pretty good. Yeah. Locked up my whole system. Yeah. Hmm. What the hell? It's a, it's a script. I know it. It's a script. Gotta be. Yeah, they usually are. Yeah, yeah. It's a script. That's what's locked it up. It's like, are you kidding me? Anyway, um, directed energy weapon. Look that up. If you're not aware of that. What that does? Uh, a lot of people are saying some of those fires that have been started, uh, in California were were purposely started using those type of weapons. Right, yeah, well, they have, you know, uh, that that would not be the crowd control type. That would be a much bigger no. one that was fired from a plane with a Natural lot more... Natural disaster. A, yeah, with a lot more power. Right. Yeah. But, you, you know, we've been saying this so long. We've been saying, do your own research. Don't take my word for nothing, you know? Because uh, so I just talk about whatever, you know? Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Oh, God damn you. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? All right. Let me go on with another story while you're figuring that yeah, out. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. All right. So um, this article is posted up on Sputnik uh, on uh, today. Today. Uh, okay. No, wait. What? Oh, the third. Okay. <laughs> they use these weird dates, too. All right. Um, okay. Uh, so the title is Go the Fuck Home. Uh, U.S. cops manhandle forced journalists to stop covering protests. So uh, the Associated Press issued a reprimand to the New York City Police Department after after affiliated cops were seen verbally and physically harassing two journalists attempting to cover Tuesday night's protests in Lower Manhattan. Uh, the video uh, published by AP on Wednesday shows more than a half dozen NYPD cops surrounding an AP news crew attempting to cover a local demonstration honoring George Floyd and the police response. Within, within the 84-second clip, video journalist Robert Bumstead... Bumstead? Uh, Bumstead? <laughs> like, like, like Dagwood? All right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Robert Bumstead and a photographer, uh, May E. Wong, are instructed uh, by police to return to their homes as the 8 p.m. local time curfew had recently taken effect. Cops are seen shoving individuals already complying with orders. Uh, thank you, have a good day, go the fuck home, an officer is overheard saying. Oh, yeah, these protesters, As the AP journalist uh, and the AP journalist, go home, I don't give a fuck uh, who you are. Uh, so uh, who, who, you, who, you, who are you essential to? One cop reportedly asked Bumstead, uh, rhetorically, asking his, uh, raising his voice each time. The cops then forced the journalists onto the sidewalk. So, despite cops training in de-escalation tactics, as if that really exists, a number of additional <laughs> expletives are hurled uh, towards the journalists by police, while most officers are overheard patronizing the AP News court crew. Uh, one officer uh, uses a low tone and blocks other cops from interfering with the situation. Sir, get in your car, the officer ordered. Uh, Bumstead then explains that uh, other cops are preventing him from getting into his car. So one cop saying, get the fuck in your car. And the other cops are stopping him from getting to his car. So um, <laughs> says, I'm helping you out, sir. The officer adds as he waits for the video journalist to get into his car. Yeah, you're really helping me out here. Uh, if anybody should be going the fuck home, it should be the goddamn pigs. Uh, yeah, no shit. Uh, but but uh, th this is this is how they deal with things, you know. Um, this this is their yep. their methodology. Um, it, it, yep. It, it, it's stupid. It's crazy. But uh, did you get your your thing figured out there? 
Yeah, I do. Okay, so which one do you got? <laughs> Something on the direct, directed energy weapon. Yes, direct energy weapon. Blah, 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 space.com. Here it is. E-weapons, directed energy warfare in the 21st century. This is old. This is from January 11th, 2006. So yeah. they've had this around for a while. Oh, yeah. Think about oh, yeah. that. Okay? Think oh, sure, about that. sure, 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 sure. Um, they, so they, they've had this in their possession and this ability for a while now, 14 years or longer. I don't know when it was, like, invented, but here's that article. You Be careful. That article might have a script. I don't even know if it was that article. Like, I don't know. Anyway, like Grim says, space.com is usually pretty good, so. Yeah, I, um, I mean, you know, they're... Uh... They're they're you know obviously mainstream and such, but uh, they usually have pretty good stories. Um, uh, at least dealing with space, um, you know, and uh, of course they right. can, they can use these directed energy weapons from space. They got powerful right. enough, powerful enough ones to do that. So um, and, and they're actually showing a, a graphic, not a photo, but a graphic of one that's being yep. used to shoot down a missile there. So. Uh, you can expect that'll be part of Trump's space force. Uh, <laughs> if that ever gets off the ground, I mean, I yeah, you know, yeah. What I mean, what he said to us as a people of this country was absolutely wow. You know what I mean? Oh, it's barbaric. His yeah. his statements that he made, and it was so cold. And it's just like, that's what you got? That's what you're going to say? Right, right. You, you really do it? Government's always you know, right. It's like, you, and then, and I, I think some of the National Guard, I was watching some footage, and those are kids that are 20 years old, and 18, and 19, and 20 years old. Yeah. Most of them. Yeah. The military guys are a little bit older. Like the actual army dudes, right? Yeah. So it's the National Guard. That's kids. And to see some people, like, get in their faces and just tell the truth to them, not yelling. You know they can hear them, okay? Yeah. You know they're he hearing what the people are saying to them. And I'm not saying get in their face and start yelling like a crazy motherfucker. <laughs> I'm just saying get in there and talk the historical truth to them. Not that it's going to matter or make a difference, but if you just change one person's mind, then you succeeded. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got them to see the error of their ways by being this oppressive system, part of it, so closely that you're working for them. And seeing what they're doing to the rest of the people that are, do not work for them. Oh, hey, Ben. Hey, JJ. Well, they joined. Yep. Anyway, I, you know, you can judge, people will judge me because I'm on the radio. I put myself out there. I, I you know, come on here and I speak my opinion. You are. But the thing yeah. is, it's just my opinion. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you so, are. You are. Whatever, you know what? You what are happened? a bold voice. <laughs> okay. Yes, I am. We're not bold okay. voices. We're not bold voices here, but she is a bold voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Now I know. Yeah, like, no, oh, I can be a real pain in the ass. Yeah, bold voices came and went, but we're still bold voices, even though we're not bold yeah. voices. Yes, we are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, no, go ahead. Keep, keep going. No, I just... I just, I'm a history buff, and when you know history, certain things about history, and you've seen all this injustice go on for over 50 years, you know, it, 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 it's old. It's, I'm done with it. Right. I'm done with it. Understandable. So, I, I remember, I think I said this last time, but my mom told me stories about the colored drinking fountains. When I was a kid in elementary school, I did not get that at all. I did I, not wrap my mind around the fact that there was, you know, black water fountain and white water fountain. 
in, in your... I'm like, why did they do that? You know, I didn't understand that as a child. I did not get that. I thought that was really fucked up. Did, did they have that in your elementary school? No, not my, my mom. Okay. My mom told, told me stories because she grew up in Minneapolis, too, back in the days of when segregation was still around. Yeah. And I remember her telling me the stories about that. Right. And they had to sit at the back of the bus. Yeah. You know. Which, that's my seat. I don't want I, I want to go sit back there. That's my seat. Well, I like sitting in the back, too, but <laughs> they were forced to. What if you don't like sitting in the back and you want to sit in the front? Yeah. Well, the fuck you, what the fuck you look like? Yeah. As long as you're not fucking people up and fucking hurting people or whatever. I, 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 as far as I, as far as I recall, which probably not that great, um, there was no black blacks in my elementary school. None at all. I don't, I don't recall seeing any. I, I there, were, there were Mexicans there, but of course okay. that was. Well, that's 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 okay. That's a P P O C, right? Uh, yeah, well, it was San Diego, so. Um, there was Mexicans there, <laughs> um, and probably right. some. Of course, there is. Of course, there's Mexicans in California. And Hello. There, and probably some Asians, uh, but I, I don't recall any blacks in elementary. There was in junior high. Junior high, there was. In high school, there definitely was. But, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't remember in elementary school having having any uh, uh, black classmates. Well, my mom switched us. We went to like a primarily all white elementary school. Until I did until I was in third grade. And then my brother started kindergarten when I was in fourth grade. And my mom switched us to an open school, it was called, which was like this new concept they were doing. And it was in a different, I had to be bused there, which was different because normally I, would, I was walking to school. Yeah. And it was better, though, because it was, they had other options besides just straight curriculum. Like, they had art classes, and they had all these other types of classes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. That you could take that you wouldn't get in the normal straight curriculum. This is something, this was back in the 70s. They were trying something new out. Right. Which is a good thing, if you think about it. We need the arts. We need music. People focus more on sports for kids, right? Yeah, well, but not I'm, every I'm, sports I'm are for everybody. Yeah, sports is good for exercise. Like the lifetime sports are good. Walking, you know, is a good thing to do for your health. But being on uh, teams isn't for everybody. No. You know, and we need the arts. We need music. We need to let these things not die because that's what keeps us healthy as humans and flowing as humans. Right. Because if we feel like we're in a prison, that's how we're going to feel. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you got, we have to, what happened back then? Why did they stop doing that at, all of a sudden back in the 80s? They stopped doing all that crap then. Who, like uh, promoting the arts and music and all that. And, who knows? You know? Who knows? Um, the, money. It's, it's, it's probably money. Probably budget cuts. It could be, yeah, yeah. Or just politics, well, politics. Um, right. You know, and, and, so, yeah. and here's, here's the thing, though. Here, uh, of, from what's going on right now, from from all these closures and shutdowns and the way the schools mm -hmm. are coming back, I, I doubt they're going to have any arts at all. Um, and I doubt that Probably not. And I, I would imagine most sports will be... Uh, greatly curtailed if they exist at all. Uh, you'll probably still have... Well, Jack said he's going to be starting playing baseball again, so... Well, okay. That's good. Yeah, <laughs> that's him. good. If, if it even happens, though. If it's even alive. Right. You know, yeah. they don't know. Yeah, so... Uh, because because the, it's cost... Uh, you know, it, it's costing... Right. It's costing all the states, which, which the schools are paid for out of states' budgets. Uh, yeah. It's cost all the states a ton, ton of money. Um, so, uh, right. And then yeah. back in the eighties and nineties with schools, yeah, a lot of people move to the suburbs, right? I guess. So yeah. I don't know if you guys ever seen that movie Breakfast Club. Sure. But if you want to get a glimpse of what it was like in like eight, the eighties in high school in the suburbs, watch that movie. 
But that was beside the point. The Summers have their own problems, all those rich kids with their fucking drug problems and shit, right? Yeah. But that's nothing like growing up in the inner city and, you know, because the inner city is where they cut everything first. Okay? Yeah. Because of money. Right. Because oh, all the rich people moved out to the suburbs now. So now all the schools in the inner city go to shit. They did. Back in the 80s. They started going to shit in the 80s. Right. The, Big time. Like, not saying they weren't shitty before that, but in the inner city, it was a problem. Sure. You know, it was a big problem with just, I don't know how to word it, but again, most of, a lot of people in some of these inner cities were people of color. Right. So they get kind of ignored. The white people moved out to the suburbs, so fuck you. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? That's what basically happened. That's what happened. Yeah, so I, 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 I never. I, fuck you. I, I never. Li- I never lived in the inner city. Um, well, I didn't, I grew up in Minneapolis, not the inner city. I didn't grow up in downtown Minneapolis, but I grew up in Minneapolis city proper. I mean, we were we were it's poor. A huge city. Come on, it's big. Well, we we were poor, but we lived in the suburbs. Right. Well, a lot of people. But you know. Bad. It was just it was just track housing. It wasn't like it was anything right. fancy. It wasn't anything fancy. You know, it wasn't we, like you got we, we, we had a fa- we had a family of six living in a twelve hundred square foot house, which is a small house for six people. Hell yeah, hell yeah, it is. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I had two brothers in my room with me. Um, my, my sister had her own room, and uh, my mom and dad had their room, and there was one bathroom in the house. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it was just a little dinky-ass house. Um, right. Everyone's on top of everybody. Yeah. Yeah, so, I, you know. Whatever. How many bathrooms? One. One. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? I don't have to imagine. Oh, you I, you I, I, I lived it. I don't have to imagine that at well, all. We only had one bathroom, too. We only did, too. So, because there had to be a schedule, like, in the morning, you know? Eh, whatever. It's just first come, yeah. first serve, and and if you're small, oh you know, like I, I was the youngest, and so if you're small, you're you're the last. Oh, yeah, you had to wait. <laughs> same, same thing with food. You know, they they they, oh, yeah. they put the food on the table. Here's your everybody eats everything, and you got this tiny little thing left over for you. Yeah, it was just <laughs> me and my brother. Not so I, didn't, I only had one brother, so it was just two kids. So that was uh, a lot different having yeah, these, multiple. These, these, these were people with voracious appetites and not much. Food. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna play I some more. That. I'm gonna play okay. some more music here, and uh, right. we'll come back and talk about other stuff. So oh, we will. As we we do. will. We do. <laughs> we do. That's what we do here at Freakers Ball. Yes, indeedy. This is uh, Mr. John Fogarty. All right. Enjoy. Hi, everyone. These are certainly different times. Oh, yes. Very nice. Very nice music there. That whole set was pretty awesome. That last track there, the Youngbloods get together. Uh, Cowboy Tech request before that for the Mighty Moose Girl. Uh, Ripple. uh, The Plane for Change. You know, uh, there's a lot of videos. Plane for Change, Song Around the Sing Around the World. And uh, they're all they're all pretty good. Uh, so and and this kicked it off there. John Fogarty also for Moose Girl, and he did a whole bunch of uh, CCR tunes there, about five tunes. Uh, so all, all great stuff, awesome. So uh, you still with me, Moose? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> yeah, you might have to adjust your uh, settings there, Moose. Uh, after unplugging that cam. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, if you if you want, I'll pop on there and, and change it. But uh, let me know there in the chat. Uh, and uh, so, oh, there she is. Oh, okay, she hung up. <laughs> All right, that's why I didn't hear. Her. All righty. Here I am. There you are. Oh God, you're super loud. And you sound normal. <laughs> I sound normal now. Good. Wow. <laughs> it's amazing how that works. So I didn't say anything bad or anything when I had a hot mic, did I? Nah. <laughs> nah, yeah, you were fine. You were fine. 
That was a yeah, statement. Just, uh, just, just fine. Uh, just all good. And the squeaky chair. I knew like, when you said squeaky chair, I'm like, okay, I have a hot mic somewhere. Cause <laughs> Grim wouldn't know that unless he was here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe I am, and you don't know it. Uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe you're like up in the boys' bedroom, like secretly broadcasting from up there. Or, or I could be down in the basement with in that. In the attic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I could be anywhere. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, anyway. Um, I just, like I said, I know a lot about history, and it helps you, um, it helps you um, learn and because, you know, you hear that phrase, history repeat, repeats itself all the time. Sure. That's like a catchphrase for people like, oh, his, you know, they'll say that. And it's true. It's history true. does repeat itself. Oh, totally true. So if you know some history, then you'll be better off because, you like, this stuff that's going on right now yeah. is just like what went down, like, in the 60s, the race sure. riots. And that, back then they called it a race riot, even though... It really wasn't back then either. Right. It's about equal rights for everybody. Well, you know? it's about it's about the, it's about the goonerment there. Yeah. Always, always try to stir stuff up. They they do oppression and why and set people up and do sting operations and do undercover shit that should should not be allowed. You know, a, a lot of their tactics just need to fucking go, dude. You Absolutely. know what I mean? Absolutely. I mean, come on, make weed legal everywhere. Make every drug legal. Make everything, everything other than, right. I mean, uh, unless you're Quote, harming. Quote, legal. Because and, you know what? The cops know damn well that alcohol kills so many fucking people every fucking year. Yeah. And, pe- and they're going to bust somebody for smoking some weed? Right. Dude, you're fucking ass backwards, dude. Yes, they are. Because weed don't kill people. Hey, unless, unless, unless there's. Uh, unless you're harming somebody else or somebody else's property, right. there is no crime. Exactly. None. If you want to fucking be a heroin junkie and shoot that shit up in your veins, I wouldn't recommend it. But if that's what you want to do, you have at that, man. I don't right. want you to do that. I don't think you should. But if that's what you want to do, it's your body. You do that then if that's what you need to do. You know, would yep. it be the thing I would suggest to people? No. Yep, yeah, Cowboy Tech says. I would suggest ayahuasca or whatever they call it. Ayahuasca. 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 Or DMT or whatever. Is that the same thing? Well, no, ayahuasca ayahuasca has a DMT element. Okay, there you go. Because that is what people really need is healing. Yeah. They don't need fucking arrest and jail time and prison. Hell no, that doesn't help nobody. If you feel the need that you've got to become a heroin junkie, you're in a really bad way, obviously. Obviously, obviously. And, dude, you need help. You don't need to be locked up because that will do you no good. You won't get, <laughs> well, won't get you up the heroin. It won't address the reasons why you want to be on heroin. Okay. Ben, Benoit, you know? ben, Benoit says some mm-hmm. dude just got five years for his 15th drunk driving last week. And yeah. while and while I don't agree with giving him a, any kind of a criminal sentence, they're probably doing him a favor because he's a fucking idiot. Um, right. <laughs> Obviously, he's an I idiot. Mean, if you're out there drinking and driving all the time, you're a freaking moron. You're a there's, moron, there's, right? Because it's there's, not a cool thing to do. It's there's, there's a something selfish wrong. Thing to do. There's something wrong with you. If right. You, if you're out there doing that, because you're putting other people in harm's way. Well, that you're putting yourself. I mean. Well, yeah, yourself, but other people that are just standing on the sidewalk. What if you just? Oh, I'm going to go over here on the sidewalk and take out a kid or something. You uh, know? Yeah, but you know, some people they drive okay. Uh, I, I mean, you know, yeah, uh, I, you know, they need healing. They need help. They don't need fucking prison time and fines. That doesn't do shit. Right. You need to so, get to the, the the root of the problem. So I, while I don't agree with any kind of a, a, a jail term for somebody like that, again, they're, they're probably doing him a favor if he can sober up in those five years. And yeah, hopefully he gets this shit together. I mean, that fifteenth though, really? Yeah, Come on, buddy. <laughs> It's a lot of drunk driving, man. Yeah. <laughs> come on, buddy. Oh, God. Man up, dude. Yeah. You know, come on. Man up, motherfucker. All right, here. Tell me what you think about this story. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. 
New York police caught on video breaking into jewelry store during riots. <laughs> oh, imagine that. Imagine that. Because the one wanted to buy his wife something, right? Or something? Yeah, uh, no, I don't know. It says, well, we, we've watched police set their own cars on fire after knocking windows out and vandalizing them. We have this, now we have this crew of police breaking into a jewelry store, which we also saw them dropping off bricks, but that's another story. Uh, you'll notice another cop standing guard looks like a routine occurrence. So it's not like this is not the first time they've done this. So uh, there's a big crisis in this country that divides America across geographical lines. Heartland America is in the dark about police practices in the big cities. They encounter a generally responsible police force where they live, which I'm going to disagree with. But uh, they, pro they project that experience onto the urban centers where in reality it does not work that way. Then there is a big public controversy over the nature of policing. In reality, the United States has multiple policies, in effect, which is dividing Americans over understanding the problems. The right. Po the police are trying to run interference, use fake sock puppet accounts, and confusing social media responses. Yep. There is incoherent line being pushed by what we are seeing is cops going after a looter, which is why they are breaking in and not going in in the same way the looter went in. <laughs> so, oh. I, you know, man, uh, yeah, they're they're dirty, they're they're corrupt. Uh, they, they, yes, they I've hate, always have been for a very long time. Everywhere they, they hate people. I, I, they I, do. There, there's nothing good about them. There's nothing no, good about them. No, they they like people have said. They started out being called, quote-unquote, peace officers, which was a misnomer to start with. Yeah. You know, come on. You're, you're, hurt, you're, you're hurting people. You're killing people. Right, right. You're not peacekeepers at all. Exactly. You're the opposite of you're, that. You're certainly not peace officers. No, you are not peace officers or keepers or whatever the fuck. And who are you protecting and serve? I know who who you mean when you because when I grew up in Minneapolis, that's what was on the cop cars, right? To protect and serve. Yeah, I think Eau Claire says right now it says something like for the community. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, here's and then, that. Uh, oh no! But tonight at the thing, okay. So all the cops are scrambling because they really didn't know the route. And they they thought it was gonna be like a hundred people because a hundred people said they were attending on Facebook. Guess what? It was five thousand people. <laughs> <laughs> and so the cops had to call in all these officers that were off duty already. They didn't have to. Like, to. They didn't have to. Walk off the roads. Walk off the no, they didn't have to, but they did. Walk off the roads and freaking. Um, then afterwards, after it was towards the end or whatever, you see all these, because the, the, they changed the route a little bit at the end. Yeah. And all these cow cars are driving around all frantic. <laughs> and then there was, the one thing I noticed, though, was the amount of unmarked squads, unmarked cars that cops are driving. Yeah. So, and they're totally unmarked, dude. Like, you can't tell it's a fucking cop in there unless you can see their uniform and see the cop themselves. Yeah. And I, you know what? That is, I said, that should not be allowed. If you're a goddamn cop, it should be plastered on your goddamn vehicle, motherfucker. Right. You know, because this undercover shit is bullshit. Yes, it is. You know, oh, you're driving down the road speeding... And you see, like, a car pull over the side. It's not marked as a squad. All of a sudden, you got the fucking rep. They're getting pulled over. Yep. That's bullshit. That's bullshit tactics, dude. It is. It is. It, it is. should be loud and clear. This is a fucking cop vehicle. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't like this undercover shit like they do at the festivals and stuff. Uh, that's that's underhanded tactics. Right. It's It's probably unconstitutional. Yeah, whatever. If you're like, one of them people. Like like that saying. matters, right. 
Um. It's like that matter. It doesn't matter. The Constitution, people keep bringing it up. And, you know, I get it to a point. We've also discussed that subject thoroughly in the yeah. last 11 years. Yeah, we have. Every, every, every part of that thing is just, I mean, it's, it's, it's ignored. Uh, it is totally ignored. Yeah, so whatever. Yeah. Uh, anyway, here's... it's been ignored for a long time. And you guys are, you know, all these people are like, well, the Second Amendment. It's like you guys are, you're, you're uneducated. Very much so. If that's all you got is, well, we got to protect the Second Amendment. Oh, yeah, what else you got? Well, that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> yep. I'm like, what, dude? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so anyway, yeah. here, here, here's that story about the uh, after mass uprising, city council members look to entirely disband Minneapolis PD. I see that. Yeah, so uh, so it says it's that. It's about time. I grew up there. They were bastards in the 80s. I used to work at this bar in Minneapolis, and it, a lot of the cops, would come, some cops would go there after work, right? Yeah, yeah. Those guys are dicks, okay? Yeah. They're fucking dick. They were dicks. And everyone knew that they were fucking dicks. All the Minneapolis P P PD, they've had a reputation for as long as I can remember of being dicks. Okay, what, what I they... guarantee you the same thing applies to every major city in this country. So, so what they say here is this would be a revolutionary move to affect positive change and allow the city to start over with a police force designed around public safety instead of predation and extortion. Right. So, eh. Let's just, be just, real here, people. What they've been doing is working for the man, not protecting you. Yeah. Making money for the man by doling out every fucking ticket they can get you for. Oh, you, you were drunk and you took a piss in someone's yard. Oh, my God. You yeah. need a, a fine. Yeah. You know? Right. You were, you were fucking, you know... Uh, you jaywalked. What? Well, whatever. You, Just stupid you cross shit. You crossed inside the crosswalk. Right. Oh my god. Right. You. Uh, yeah. Sixty-five and a fifty. You know. Whatever. All kinds of stupid right. shit. Anyway, it says the uh, the talks over disbanding the police department come just days after one of the most chaotic weeks in American history that left many parts of Minneapolis and other cities burned to the ground and heavily no, damaged. No, no. Okay, I gotta interrupt because. I hate that when they say burn, all the cities were burned to the ground. Certain areas of certain cities were burned. Okay? That's what it said. They said weren't burned to the ground. It said Stop fucking saying that. It said many parts uh, of. Many parts of. It didn't good, say the whole because, thing. Yeah, because, yeah. yeah. They, so, I, oh, I'm glad it said that. I'm sorry. I didn't and then it goes on to talk about dickhead Chauvin and George Floyd. Yeah. Um, sorry, I didn't hear that part, Grant. That's sorry. all right. That's all right. That's all right. I mean, I've been hearing other people word it that way. That's that's the way they like. Oh, they're shit, burning yeah. their cities to the ground. It's like no, no, yeah. that's not what's going on here. That's certain not what's people going are on. during certain burning, but it's not being burnt down to the ground. Okay? No, no, certainly not. Certainly not. No, Minneapolis. Is, the IDS center is still there. All the fucking skyscrapers in downtown Minneapolis are still fucking there. Right. You know, U.S. Bank Stadium is still there. They didn't touch it. They didn't. T it wasn't damaged in any way. Exactly. So it was a certain part of South Minneapolis around where George Floyd was murdered. And, you know, you guys can say it wasn't real, it was fake, it was staged. I don't care. What they wanted to show us was the cops murdering a guy in the street. Right. Okay, they wanted us to see all, they wanted us all to see that. Right. For a reason. Absolutely. You know, and you can call it what you want. Say it's fake, it's this, they were actors. It doesn't matter if they were actors because they wanted you to see that. Someone did. Exactly. And they knew that this country is like at a powder keg when it comes to police brutality. And by the way, I just want to bring this up. Deanna Taylor, her case, those cops are not charged yet. Okay? Right. It's her 20, it would have been her 27th birthday today, yesterday, Friday. Yeah. And. But still Friday here. Right. Okay. And <laughs> that case was a no-knock warrant, wrong house. She was like an EMT or a medic in the medical field. 
So she wasn't just some fucking... It doesn't even matter what she was, really. Yeah. But they barged in there, and they shot her eight times. Sure. And those cops haven't been charged. Oh, they got to say, oh, whoops, we had the wrong house. Sorry, that doesn't work anymore. That excuse should not be an excuse at all. Not at all. And this no-knock warrant shit, that is bullshit. That's breaking and entering. They be allowed, it is. That's they should home, not be home, allowed to do that. Home invasion. Yes, that's a home invasion. Yep. All right, I have a couple things here on the uh, corona scam. Okay, great. Okay. <laughs> First, from Politico, suddenly public health officials say social justice matters more than social distance. So, um, it's okay if you gather in huge groups as long as it's for so, <laughs> social justice. Yeah. But, but Isn't you, that funny how but, the COVID thing kind of went off the but, back uh, burner all of a sudden? But, but, <laughs> like, if you, oh. but if you're out there to get your hair cut or have a picnic, go to a you're restaurant. You're supposed to wear a mask. Yeah, blah, did, blah, blah, blah. Then it, it, it all still applies. But if, if you're out there in a huge group of people protesting, no problem. It doesn't apply. Right. So, okay. Well, I didn't wear one tonight. Right. For for months, oh, well. for months, public health experts have urged Americans to take every precaution to stop the spread of COVID-19, stay at home, stay clear of friends and extended family, yeah, and right. ab absolutely avoid large gatherings. Now, oh. some of those very same experts are broadcasting a new message. It's time to get out of the house and join the yes. mass Join the mass protest against racism, which again, <laughs> yeah, join the protest. And again, no. which again, it's not against racism; it's against it's against yeah, it's against the cops. Government brutality. Um, yes, it is government brutality. There you go, Greg. Yeah. So we should always evaluate the risks and benefits of efforts to control the virus. Jennifer Nuzzo, Johns Hopkins, who's in the center of this whole uh, Corona scam. Um, epidemiologist tweeted on Tuesday, in this moment, the public health risks of not protesting to demand an end to systemic racism greatly exceed the harm of the virus. So, racism... So, that, that tells you that the virus is a fucking joke, dude. Right, absolutely. Uh, it says, this injustice that's evident to everyone right now needs to be addressed. And so you got to get out there in big groups and, and all congregate <laughs> together. While I have voiced concerns that protests might cr risk create morning outbreaks, the status quo wasn't going to stop COVID-19 either. Uh, you mean the lockdowns? Yeah, no shit, Dick Tracy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's a message echoed by media outlets and some of the most yeah. prominent public. Anyway, it's, it's yeah. nonsense. And then, and then. So um, I go by the mask thing, like who bought into it and who didn't. And oh, 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 let me mention this. Let me mention uh, this go ahead. Uh, on the mask right. thing. Okay, there's a website, New Mexico Health Org or whatever, yeah. that, that that puts all the all the corona, the corona nonsense up there. Right, right. And then I, last week, I think, two weeks ago, might have been, I saw a link, order a mask. And I, what the hell is that? And I, <laughs> and I click on it, and you just fill out this little form, and it's supposed to send you a mask. And then after you, after you fill it out... It says, thank you for caring. <laughs> thank well, you for being a caring well, well, person, well, Graham. Well, it's been two weeks. And you don't have one yet. No mask. <laughs> <laughs> from, the, from, uh, the, from the government that mandated you got to wear a mask. Uh, 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 That's uh, just like me. I'll, you'll get unemployment. Uh, the hell I will. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here from the Gateway Pundit. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, America. Those catastrophic mortality rates sold to us by the WHO, Dr. Fraudji and Dr. Burks, were a huge scam. Yes. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Yeah, we hate to break it to you, but you've been had. Uh, those horrible projections made out made about coronavirus were wrong. Way wrong. We're not saying the elderly were not at risk. We never did. If New York, New Jersey, Michigan, and other Democratic-led states, which, like that matters, uh, would have protected their elderly in the same manners as Republican-led Florida, then you would never have seen the death tolls in those states 
at like right. you, uh, sorry, I got distracted by a, okay. fl- a flashing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you would have never seen the, the death rates that you did, uh, like places like New York and Seattle. Uh, what 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 we are saying is that the leader of the WHO and Dr. Franchi and Dr. Burks scared the hell out of the American people, the entire world, uh, created a panic and pushed for lockdowns and social distancing that saved little, if any, life, but absolutely killed the United States economy. We were first to report that Director General of the WHO on March 3rd, 2020, set off a panic with his highly flawed statement, which was, while many people globally have built up immunity to seasonal flu strains, strains, COVID is a new virus which has no, no, which no one has immunity. That means that more people are susceptible to infection and some will suffer severe disease. Globally, about 3.4% of reported COVID cases have died. By comparison, seasonal flu is far fewer than 1%. Uh, it's, a problem. it's a problem, though. It's a problem, though. 3.4% was the massive lie. Lie. Because <laughs> it came out to what they're saying now. It's about 0.3%. Not 3.4. 0.3, which is one-third of the flu virus fatality rate um <laughs> so so they they shifted a bunch of people that had flu into saying that they had corona uh well thanks hansel for the new mask link there let's take a look and see what he's off. <laughs> oh yeah it's a skeleton mask yeah that's cool man yeah that's, cool that's man cool. i'm not wearing it though yeah yeah well, maybe on halloween this Corona, Grimm's Corona mask is the best mask out there, okay? It's a, it I'm says, just saying. It says Corona right on the front. It says Corona right on it. So <laughs> he kicked that ass. He kicked, he, he rules when it comes to masks <laughs> during this shit. Speaking and of. He and he purposely wore it. you got to give him props because he wore it to the post office just to see the looks that he would get. Yeah. <laughs> and he did get looks. So, yeah. uh, mission accomplished. Absolutely. Okay. Um, and speaking of masks. Yes. Enraged Italians abandon masks, denounce pandemic as scam. Okay. So, hooray for Italy. Uh, All right. Yeah, hundreds of Italian demonstrators gathered in Rome's Piazza del Popolo on Tuesday, de- ditching their masks in a protest against the Italian government's lockdown restrictions aimed at controlling the corona nonsense. Uh, the group, which calls themselves Orange Vests, is led by retired Cara Barini, whatever, uh, General Antonio Papalardo, who doesn't believe children should be made to wear masks. Uh, refusing to wear a mask himself, Papalardo said, uh, These lungs mine. I will take care of my lungs. Breathing is sacred. Uh, <laughs> anyway, hooray for that guy and uh, that group in Italy, and uh, just 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 get rid of the whole scam over there. Um, and and that should be part. I mean, if people are going to be out there protesting, this should be part of what they're protesting against. Is this whole freaking lockdown scam nonsense? Uh, uh, because um, did I did I talk about the one already? That that said the lockdown uh, caused more um, no caused more deaths. I don't know. I, I think I, I have it. No, I don't think you did. You might have left. Well, you might have. I don't think not tonight. I don't think. Yeah. All right. Well, whatever. Um, that that's the case. That is the truth. Yeah. That the lockdowns have caused far more deaths uh, than than the uh, the corona ever would have. Um, but I will talk about this because I find this to be interesting. <laughs> yeah. Now, I don't know anybody that, at least nobody's had ever admitted to me that they have this particular condition. But apparently some people do. On the website, okay. interestingengineering.com. People with sneeze fetish. <laughs> uh, what? People, people with sneeze fetish have divided feelings about the pandemic. Uh, 
Now, I thought, <laughs> I thought this was going to be like a satire article, but yeah, apparently, oh, oh yeah, I bet. Uh, apparently it's not. It's um, not. Or, or wait, or, or should, or should I say it's not? <laughs> All right. Remember that when you were a kid? Yeah. Yeah. You'd say it's not. You what? It's not. Like, <laughs> yeah. That's not what I said. <laughs> <laughs> so in the fight between the fetish and being infected, the real question comes to mind: to sneeze or not to sneeze? And they have a always per- sneeze if you have to. It's and, not good to hold your sneezes in. So sneeze. Just make sure you cover them properly. So so it says there: sneeze fetish. Believe it or not, it's a real thing. People don't it get, is. People people don't get to choose what floats our boats, so it's not a <laughs> so not a surprise that some people get a little ad out of my way. Said some people uh, want, <laughs> where did I lost my place? Uh, prefer watching a beautiful lady or man sneezing. It's a rather unclear what thrills people about sneezing. However, uh, we we don't really need to have reasons. To no. like something, <laughs> but but it's an interesting fact that sneezing and orgasming are both refle- <laughs> are are both reflexes that follow a similar awesome. f- physiological pattern. An initial oh sen- my god, are an you initial s- me? initial sensitivity, an increase in stip- stimulation up to a threshold, which gives way to a release in the form of a palpable bodily response. Uh, the, in fact. According to Dr. Ruth Westheimer, an orgasm is just a reflex like a sneeze. This is not to say the two are connected. They just follow similar patterns. While this is just an estimation, it could be the reason why certain people get a kick out of it. Uh, You might have heard about their existence just now. Yeah, I never heard of this before. However, the sneeze people exist and they are also worried about corona. <laughs> anyway, the the article goes on talking about Yeah, they are. They're worried all right. <laughs> Sneeze fetishists. Um I mean, seriously, my dad when he first asked if I was wearing a mask, I'm like, No. He's like, Why well, I'm like, Trump doesn't <laughs> Like, fuck that. So yeah, sneeze, you know? sneeze. Come on now. Sneeze fetish for y'all. Yeah, just make sure you cover your sneezes with your elbow. The crook of your arm is a good technique. Whatever, whatever works for you. Right, a Kleenex. Back in the day, like I'm old school because I'm getting kind of old here. Uh huh. Um, my dad used to use handkerchiefs. Mm. Remember, remember handkerchiefs, Grim? Yeah, nasty things, man. Yeah, they're gross. Ah. <laughs> <Uh-uh. laughs> That's why, like, Kleenex is so awesome, because <laughs> you just use it once and you throw it away. Yeah, you know what? Like, and then you put that, I remember my mom having to iron my dad's handkerchief. And put that damn snotty-ass rag <laughs> back in your pocket? Yeah, back in there. It's like, oh, what? what uh, yeah. the big old green, I'll use the other side next time. Big old green snot balls in your pocket. <laughs> and then, I mean, it's a piece of cloth, so it leaks through. <laughs> and it's just, uh, that's gross. What the the hell? Uh, uh, what the hey? What the hey? I mean, it's better just just sneeze into your hand and go wash your hand. You yeah, know? something. Uh, yeah, don't, yeah. don't have a handkerchief. Yeah. Uh, I mean, those, those, those. Uh, yeah, right. I, I, I never understood the, the concept there, but uh, people all, no. all you know in the fifties, forties, I guess people used That's them. That's what they did. Yep, uh, they yeah, they did. Hey, you want to borrow my snot rag? I've only used it a yeah. few times. I've only, I've, only used, I've only used it a few times today. And there wasn't any pandemic. No, like, no. A pandemic didn't break out suddenly. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, let's do our last set here. Um, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll come back. We got. We'll have a few minutes after this. So. Okay. Oh God. Uh, oh my what, God. What a world that we live in. Crazy, uh, crazy, crazy stuff. All right. Couple old dudes here, Joe Strummer, Johnny Cash. All right. Let me, uh... <laughs> Stoner Train, closing it out there with Black Betty. Oh, boy, I, I love that sound. All right, before that, we had Larkin, Poe, and Keep On Digging. 
uh, before that was, uh, which that came out just May 22nd there. So uh, pretty pretty new, pretty recent. Uh, and before that, uh, Led Zeppelin Immigrant Song, which was initially requested by Hansel and then re-requested uh, by the Body Boost. And, All uh, right. Joe Cash, I mean, Johnny, Joe Cash and Johnny Strummer. Joe Cash, uh, there you <laughs> go. Yeah, no, Johnny Cash and Joe Strummer doing uh, Marley's Redemption Song, and also a Moose Girl request there. So, uh, yay, great set to close it out, man. Yeah, good yeah. set. Fuck the yep. government. Fuck the government. Um, Fuck the goon it. They're goons. <laughs> they are. And Dumb. if you're on their side, you're a goon. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I know what no else to say it. Goon, goon, bootlicker, whatever, man. Yeah, uh, bootlicker. Uh, bootlicking goon. All right. Well, tomorrow you got the uh, dark table at 2 p.m. Eastern with yep. Flash and hopefully Grammy. Maybe somebody else. I don't know. It's it's one of those kind of things. Uh, and I'll be on Sunday at my normal time with the Blues, noon Eastern. Uh, right on up until 3 p.m. Uh, Eastern, which is when Hal Anthony starts taking people behind the sh- woodshed and giving them a good ass whooping. So uh, don't miss Behind the Woodshed. Uh, check the schedule on reallibertymedia.com for all the rest of the shows that come up on RLM Radio throughout the week. And have a great weekend. Yeah, everyone, you know, try to do something, you know, productive. Get outside. Yeah, um, plant a thing. Smell the flowers, freaking listen to the birds. Because if you really listen close, the birds, they you can understand them. Take your dog for a walk. Oh, yeah. I, saw, I saw this you video. Know, all I that saw, crap. I, I, saw, that stuff. I, I, saw this, <laughs> I saw this little video today. It was like uh-huh. the uh, gifts that crows bring you or whatever. I forget the name of the video. Yes. Yeah, but they they will do that. Like, it, I think Rome's or someone was saying if you put out cat food for the crows, yeah, they, they they'll bring, bring you stuff. Yeah. Like, no shit. They'll bring you stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you talk to them and treat them cool, they'll bring you shit. Like, and yeah. hang out shiny stuff. Like, I have these used CDs. Like, they're old and junky, right? Mm-hmm. But I can't, I'm not throwing them out because, like, you can hang them in your yard and Crows like shiny stuff. Okay, cool. So, anyway, like, I just thought it was know, interesting. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's off track, but whatever. <laughs> All right, well, you got anything else? No, I'm good. You know, just uh, keep on keeping on, everyone. Yes, indeedy. All yep. right, we'll talk to you all later. Peace. Yep. Peace.